ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Channel here for Throw a Football DRFC, your Dog Strovers fan channel. It's review day. We've got the first win in the bag. Three points on the mark, on the ball, get it done. And uh, we got the win today against Morecambe. Now I'm going to go through moments from the game, my player ratings, and also my overall thoughts on what we need to do going into these next couple of games now. Uh, Papa John's Trophy. We've also got uh, the big game coming up um, against... Plymouth Argyle on the next weekend so uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about that so stay tuned please like comment subscribe click the okay boss in the miss YouTube video and let's get straight into this one so obviously what a performance um, now obviously there were moments not going to lie there were moments where Morku came at us it was a very scrappy game and you know there were moments where uh, we do need to improve, but overall, we took the one chance and it worked out perfectly. So I think it's I think I think it's one fan said it to be today in the stands. I think it's the kind of game we needed today, uh, where we needed just that that one game where it's very end to end, could go either way, and we get the three points. So um, we are still bottom. Obviously, but with other teams winning, but um, it means that that win with our game in hand will take us out of the relegation zone, which is uh, good news for us. Uh, but, like I said, overall, I think it's been a very end to end game this one. More come our chances, we had chances, we only just dominated the possession of the ball, and. Again, I think overall we just we just really need to keep focusing, keep grinding hard, uh, keep working on the training pitch, and keep going for it. So uh, overall, that that's where I would stand on this particular um, result. Um, obviously, there were some other results in League One: Plymouth winning against AFC Wimbledon, um, Sheffield Wednesday drawing with Sunderland. Um, <laughs> That's, that was a bit of a comical one, but I can see why Sheffield Wednesday fans are furious today uh, with the uh, offside goal ruled out, because uh, it wasn't offside in my opinion. I did watch it back. Um, now, obviously, with this game, we got our whole squad. Uh, we pretty much, this the training sessions leading up to this game, this was the first one where we had the full group. Uh, so, obviously, that's always going to be a positive. Tom Anderson back in this game. Uh, of course, we made two... Uh, maximum changes to this side. Anderson and Vilga coming in. Seaman and Alou on the bench. So let's go through it uh, with the subs first. Um, Seaman, uh, of course, one sub. And um, the other sub um, uh, was event. Well, uh, we'll go through them. So, uh, let so we're going to start off. I'm going to begin with the substitutes. Uh, first of all, Seaman. Uh, that came on. Uh, again, I think overall give him a six. I think Seaman overall had a, a decent performance. Nothing too spectacular, but just saw the game out. Uh, tried to create something when Volker came off. And of course, Chakur uh, obviously came on as well. So uh, Chakur, I'm going to give a six as well. Again, just, uh, it, it just he tried his best, but again, just uh, a very okay performance. Now let's go into the player ratings for the starting 11. So starting off with Dahlberg, got to give him an 8. Man of the match. Rovers gave him man of the match. I gave him man of the match. It, it, it's got to be. It really has got to be. Um, I think Dahlberg put in some brilliant saves today. Um, especially one in the first half where Stockton was one-on-one. -on -one. Probably one of his only one-on-one -on -one opportunities for Cole Stockton, which was good. We kept him quiet. Like I said, we needed to do in the preview. Um, and Dahlberg saves, and if it wasn't for that save, would have been one nil down straight away. So uh, you know, obviously, Pods is Dahlberg uh, with a great save there, and saving us in the last minute, the 97th minute as well. So uh, Dahlberg doing a greatness there, eight out of ten, no uh, sort of uh, quarrels there. Um, apart from Williams, the whole back four gets a seven. So that's Anderson, Rowe, and Noyle. Um, Williams gets a six. The reason why I'm giving Williams less is because I think I think some fans said it to me um, at half time. I think that Williams looked like he had a mistake in every move that he made, um, especially this season. So I think that'll it'll, it'll improve. I'm sure it'll keep improving. There were good 
moments from Roshan Williams, but um, a good decision making. But overall, again, he still needs that extra improvement. Anderson was rock solid today. Uh, captain back on the pitch, defended every corner thrown at him. Uh, Rowe getting the goal, brilliant, and a great performance overall. Carl Noyle bombing down that right hand side, fantastic. Overall, back four, uh, fairly decent. Uh, midfield, close Galbraith and Smith, all get sevens. Uh, Galbraith is a very, very high seven. Close is a very, very high seven. The, the corner from close for the, for the goal was stupendous. Uh, and Galbraith's technical ability in the midfield is absolutely spot on. Matt Smith's passing range is fantastic. Uh, and overall, that midfield just gives us that, that, that extra quality. Um... Hawula on the left, I'm going to give him a six. Uh, I think that Hawula looks a little ropey at times, but overall uh, had an okay game. Uh, Vilker on the other wing, seven. Got to be. Got to be a seven out of ten, in my opinion. His technical ability is spot on. Uh, still a couple of things to improve on, but his technical ability is spot on. The movement on and off the ball has been great. Uh, and finally, to do up front, got to give him a six. Uh, didn't get the goals, didn't get any, didn't get much service at times, but overall looked some kind of a presence up front. And uh, there we go. I think we're still missing that clinical striker. I think we're still missing that clinical source of goals from, you know, like Marquise was a clinical source of goals from one person. We're still missing that clinical source of goals from one person. We're having to, you know, score as a team to make up for the fact that, that one player up front is not going to do the goals for us this season, so, at least till January. So um, we still need that clinical presence uh, of one person up front. Hopefully Joe will provide that over time, and uh, fingers crossed he can come good for us in the end. So uh, overall then, what do we need to do going into that game against Plymouth Argyle in the league? I'm sort of taking uh, the Man City game on Tuesday out of it, but um, what about Plymouth on the weekend? Well... I personally believe that um, it, 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 I think overall he'll he'll come good. I, I think that the result today will bring us that look going forward, and I think that Plymouth will be the biggest biggest test of how we create some consistency among our results. Now we've got the first three points. Plymouth will be the first test of consistency. Um, I think that overall, you know, it, it's going to be interesting to um bring that in and sort of you know see what we do with it and like i said plymouth will be a really tough team you know they're fourth in the league for a reason they won again today um they've got a brilliant team they've got a decent squad depth they've got a great manager they're on the up they're one of my dark horses to be up there this season and around the playoff positions in the end of it so you know i think plymouth have got a real opportunity to thrash us if we don't keep our eyes on the prize, keep our heads in the game, and, um, you know, keep our minds at rest. But, um, you know, that's going to be a big test of our uh, consistency now. So, uh, there we go. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the match vlog coming tomorrow. And uh, for now, guys, I'm Aaron Chandler from Throw Football, DRFC, Kitlin and the Rovers Life. Fresh trim cut. Hopefully that new, that fresh trim look uh, has brought us some good luck charms. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Full time, Riverside Die. Thank you very much. That's three points on the board. We can, you know, relax easy. Have a, have a martini. Have a dried martini on the sunbed and just uh, relax. Oh,